how to protect yourself emotionally from the negative effects of rejection during game in general. It's not just day game, night game, even even online game, I guess. Uh, there's a few things I want to talk about before we kick it off. I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS, novel, dating advice for the modern man. Check out my website, onemanslifemission.com, uh, to sign up to do some coaching with myself. Uh, but to start with, we are out here at a great little vantage point. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of a vantage point before. I'm not sure if anyone's really talked about it, but uh, I call it a vantage point where you can sit down and you have the opportunity of jumping up and doing approaches. You see, if you think about it this way, if you're, see like you've got people there you go, you've got people walking up and down, how do I do this? Up and down like this, you can see them. They're all walking in the one direction, up and down, you can see? All the way down like that. Now if you're walking that direction, or let's just say you're walking with these people, you're walking that direction, <clears throat> there's no one walking that way, except for the people on either side of you that you can approach. And so really, all you've got the opportunity is the, the girls going the other direction. So you're pretty much losing half of all of your opportunities to do approaches. But if you sit in the middle, you've got people going from both directions and twice as many approaches, uh, twice as many opportunities. Come, kind of common sense, right? If you pick a spot like right here, we've got a nice little seating spot here. And you can see there's the people walking all the way along here and they go all the way down there. So you've got one set of flow. You've also got flow coming through there towards us. And <clears throat> over here, you've got girls coming towards us this direction as well. And on top of that, it's a little bit I think this is just my camera, really. And you've also got uh, lots of girls coming out of there, coming down here. So you've got multiple different directions. You've got unlimited girls popping out all over the place. So I guess if you see over there, you've got the girl in white popping out of there. You've got these, these two that just came from that direction. And then you've got that one over there coming this direction. And then you've got... Uh, this one in black coming towards us here, this direction. So <clears throat> you sit down, chill out, grab yourself a coffee or a water or whatever, and uh, pop up, pop off, and do some uh, approaches in all different directions. So that's the basic understanding of what I would deem to be a good vantage point. This is a great little vantage point. <clears throat> and uh, so, how to protect yourself? So. A lot of the uh, the strategies out there for cold approach are to uh, be kind of high energy, throw out a lot of uh, good energy, and almost fake how positive you are. <clears throat> That's very emotionally taxing for you. There's an idea that you need to be funny. There's an idea. There's like a almost a a belief that you need to be yeah funny and humorous and high energy and, and, a, and a positive guy to approach girls and I don't and if you're always out there giving 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 that can really hurt you emotionally it can hurt you uh, very emotionally and just say you do five approaches and you you're giving a lot of goodwill out there but you're not getting any goodwill back you're just getting a lot of harsh rejections that can be very emotionally taxing and it might not hurt you the first day you might you might you might say oh but man I can handle it <clears throat> and then a couple days later if you don't feel so great a couple weeks later uh, you start getting a little bit annoyed and thinking something's not right and then a couple months later you start getting really frustrated thinking that you're doing something wrong which arguably a lot of the time you are and then you quit doing that is so emotionally taxing and I just recommend that you don't do it 
you don't need to be out there giving all these positive emotions when you're not getting back, getting any back. Uh, you know, society's supposed to be uh, equal. We're supposed to live in a, a fair and equal society. Uh, it shouldn't always be skewed heavily in, in favour of the women that you're approaching. It should be fair. You, you shouldn't you shouldn't always be providing the good the good uh, the good energy. You shouldn't always be providing the money, the time, the effort, uh, pursuing them, and doing everything, and then getting nothing in return. And so, a lot of what I recommend that you guys do is chill out a little bit more. You don't need to be giving the great, you know, positive energy. And think about it this way. Here's another thing. If every other guy is doing that, he's coming across nervous as well. He's coming across weak and needy. He's coming across giving away his power. You don't. You, he's giving away his leverage. And if you don't do that, then you're going to be different, aren't you? Think about it that way. So that's what I try to teach guys so that they don't end up quitting within three months. Because if they're giving away all of their power or their leverage and all of their self-respect, then, you know, it's, it's emotionally taxing, it can cause a lot of stress for guys and then, then they end up quitting. And the final thing I wanted to talk about is uh, I'm learning more and more every day how little understanding of the other side men are seeing or how little uh, success how, the, the, how, how unsuccessful men are in general maybe it's just the sample size of a lot of the guys in the community that I'm seeing a lot of the guys that might be DMing me uh, <clears throat> a lot of the guys that are DMing me and they want to waste my time with a lot of questions. I get a lot of stupid questions, people wasting my time, um, inviting me to come hang out with them and uh, teach them game for free, uh, disrespecting my time, disrespecting me, and it shows that they disrespect their own time and disrespect themselves, and they'll never get anywhere in life if they have that belief system always looking for a freebie um, you are you either go out there and find someone who's put in the time and effort and hard work to learn how to do cold approach or you go out there and you spend the next five years quit your job and spend all of this time on the streets teaching yourself and learn it the hard way and then you might hit intermediate purgatory and then you might still have to come to me anyway or go to some other coach so respect my time respect your own time and stop stop looking for freebies from a lot of the coaches out there I, I, a lot of the other guys are getting this as well where you can filter through the guys that have no respect for themselves or you by DMing you and wasting your time with all these stupid questions. I had a guy that um, just kept asking me stupid questions and I just blocked him. There's nothing personal, it's just you're wasting my time. I don't have time to be answering all your literally stupid questions when get a few bucks together and, and do some coaching. And then he sends me a message on YouTube. Um, as if like it's some sort of a personal attack on him it's not I just don't have time for this I've also had, had conversations on and off over the last couple of years I've been uh, out here creating content around dating <clears throat> and a lot of the guys there um, it's funny there's a lot of skeptics out there there's a lot of guys in in the community that uh, and, and I, I've moved away from the community recently. I've decided that there's no real benefit to it uh, because I didn't realize how bad it was. <coughs> I knew it was bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad. So I've got guys reaching out to me and chatting to me, and I'll, I'll talk to guys if I've got some time. Um, in, in my like busy days, I'll, I'll put together some time, like on my way home, somewhere, I'll, I'll reply to some of you guys. Um, and uh, one guy recently was like, um, <clears throat> he didn't understand uh, how much success and didn't believe how much success 
you can have from cold approach. They just they just don't believe it. I've got some testimonials out. I've got I've got some not testimonials. Out, I've got some results that I wish I could turn into testimonials. But a lot of guys that I'm coaching, they don't want their face on camera. They don't want to be in a testimonial, uh, telling about how teaching, uh, telling you guys uh, how I taught them how to cold approach girls and how they got a hot girlfriend. Um, I've got some unbelievable results for some guys recently that I didn't even know how to put it on YouTube because I just know that you guys aren't going to believe that a guy of such lower low status low mate value in a demographic that is arguably undesirable would come to me and say look I'm going to quit I'm gonna quit soon and you're my last chance and then I literally within days teach them the right way to cold approach and finds himself a, a hot girl not half his age but a good solid 15 years younger than him hot girl way out of his league I think he would agree with that as well and it's just hard to say that on, on in public when the majority of men out there, it's just out of their reality. If you hang out with good looking guys that, are, that have good game and also have some sort of a large social, social media pre presence and uh, uh, have a, a network of guys around them where they, they go in the parties all the time and um, they have girls flooding their DMs and everywhere they go out they're so good looking that all the girls are just throwing themselves at them. If you don't actually see that firsthand, it's hard to believe how successful with women the top say 5-10% of men truly are and it might, it might make you sick to your core understanding how much you're truly missing out on. And, and if that's the reality of most men, then it's hard to explain to them that a cold approach does work. It's just so out of their reality. It reminds me of some stars recently. There, there were some stars that were very famous, good looking guys that jacked, really famous. And when they're talking about all the success that they're having, seeing other people react to it, other men react to them online and say, oh, it can't be true, he's fake, he's, he's not getting that much results. But me, I'm looking at that going, yeah, that is in line with what I've seen firsthand from men of that level. And the thing is, if you learn cold approach, you might not be able to compete with those men head to head, but you'll be able to approach girls that they don't have access to and beat them to the punch beat them to meeting those girls and dating those girls when those girls don't have access to other guys like that with proper strategies and that's outside of the reality of most guys so anyway uh, th th there's a few things that I wanted to talk about today uh, a few things I'm thinking of the vantage point great little vantage point protecting yourself emotionally uh, and that, that's, that's a part of you know, having covert, invisible, uh, indirect game where you hold your power, hold your leverage, hold your self-respect. And finally, there's men out there having success that you wouldn't believe, and if I told you, you just, you just think that I'm lying to you. This is so far out of your reality that um, there's no use me even telling you that. You know, I come to the point where um, a lot of people, you know, I, I don't argue with people that I can't convince otherwise. And, you know, I do have a lot of students that come to me and it's just like, oh, I've got some spare money, I'm gonna come to Dave, I'm gonna give him a shot. Um, I'm running out of options, I'm willing to give this a go. And then I blow their fucking minds. It happens so often. Yeah. Anyway, there's my thoughts for today. I'll see you guys next video.